In this video, I'm going to show you an insanely game changing trading application for Solana meme coins that is just like Bullex or Photon, except it has a Twitter tracker within this application. Also, wallet tracker, same as on Bullex, you're able to track wallets and see trades happening live. Also a bundle checker. You can see instantaneously without even opening a coin, you can see how much percent of the supply is bundled. Back in the day when this platform was not available, you would copy the contract address, paste it in and you bought. And only then you could see how much of the supply is actually bundled. Well, here, this is a complete game changer. You're able to instantaneously see the wallets that are bundles, right? You can go to the holders and you can see, for example, on this coin, all of the wallets are bundle wallets. Also, everything that Bullix and Photon has, all of those little features, all of those little you know, icons on the holders, they have it as well. You can open a wallet, for example, a holder and analyze the PL just like on Bullix. It is absolutely wild. And on top of that, they offer perpetuals. Which of these trading platforms offer perpetuals? This is the first time I'm seeing this personally happen on a trading platform like this, right? So I like to trade perps as well sometimes, but I usually do it on an exchange. Now I'm thinking, well, if I can do it on chain, why would I do it on an exchange? On the same platform, I'm able to trade beam coins. It is absolutely wild, guys. This is absolutely wild. So in this video, I'm going to explain how this works. I'm going to go over all the main features. I'm not going to waste your time too much. I want to do a quick tutorial here. Very simple, very quick. So let's just dive right into the video. I'm going to show you how to set it up. To get started, you're just going to go ahead and click the link in my description below. It's going to take you right here to the trading platform. So without the specific link, without my specific referral, you're not going to be able to start trading because they are still in early access. So just like Bullex, they don't allow you to just sign up and use their platform. You actually have to be referred by someone that is already using it. So you're going to click the link that's going to get you started, right? This is what you're going to see. You're going to see my referral code added right here. And you can either sign up via email or you can sign up via Google or you can sign up via Phantom Wallet. So I'm just going to sign up the Phantom Wallet right here. Boom. Click on confirm verifying signature and it should let us in. It's going to prompt you to sign a few messages as a pop up on your Phantom Wallet. You're just going to sign that. And right here, once you get started, it's going to give you a recovery. Key. So this is going to be like the 12 uh, word seed phrase. You're just going to save that somewhere safe. I'm not going to talk about securing this stuff safely because you should already know. Never keep it on your computer. Uh, never reveal it to anyone. Next step, it's going to show you your deposit address right here that you're going to be able to use to start trading. You're just going to copy that, send some Solana to this address if you want to start. You can also, what's crazy here, you can convert to USDC. You can stable within this platform or, you know, you can buy Solana directly on here. Right? You don't even have to sign up to an exchange or something like that. You can literally buy Solana here. Let's say I want to buy one Solana. You press on buy and it's going to literally take you to like this payment gateway where you can pay, you know, with Google, with Apple, you know, so it's kind of cool. I really like this. So choose whichever way you prefer and you're going to be to rumble. All right. So I've already added some balance right here. So I can for you guys, the wallet tracker, the Twitter tracker and everything here. But to start, I'm going to just talk, go over all, each of these sections real quick. This cover, this is just like on deck screen the basic section where you can see new pairs, you can set any filters you want, you're trending, right? It's pretty, pretty straightforward. I, I wouldn't even use this usually unless I'm like scanning for something very specific. But my strategy usually involves the meme scope or I should say pulse right here. They've called it pulse. This is basically the new meme scope. Basically, everything is the same. You have new pairs here. You have the final stretch, which is basically about to graduate. Then you have migrated, which is graduated section. So nothing new here. You see there's a bunch of icons like top 10 holders, dev holding, snipers holding, insiders holding, bundle holding, which is very interesting. I haven't seen that on any other trading platforms, right? Usually we go into these coins and we instantly take like a, another bot to check the bundles to see how many bundles are held. It's like right here, you can just see how many bundles are held. All of these 
are the same bundles, right? So that is pretty neat. And it also has the deck spade icon, which is very interesting. And on top of that, what do we have here? This coin is migrating. What is this button? Well, you can snipe it. So there's also the turbo pre-fire feature coming pretty soon. It's going to involve, I guess, like a faster option to snipe these coins that are migrating. Obviously, you have to be careful with these snipe options because like you can get wrecked if you snipe the wrong coin. But if you snipe the right one, you can make a lot of money. It would have to go over the holders, of course, the orders. Everything is the same. Top traders, dev tokens. Like this is this is super similar to Bullex. That's why I'm not even gonna go over it so much. Cause it just like literally has like a bunch of these like sections that are the same. And that's the great thing about this. It doesn't make it super complicated to understand. If you've used Bullex, you already basically understand how to use this except this has even more features than Bullex, right? So this is Pulse for you guys. These are the few extra sort of icons that you can see, which I find very useful. Bundle check, that is super interesting. Insider holding, that is the same as on Bullex. And of course you can apply filters. You can apply keywords within your filters, right? You can just customize the filters like this. You don't have to click manually on each one of these. Click on any of these and select the new pair filter final stretch filter and migrated filter. First of all, if I was a bit of a beginner at the moment, I would probably trade very carefully, very selectively because new pairs are completely like that's a complete gamble to, to trade these new pairs. It's super hard, you have to be experienced. So you can add a few features here. So CA ends in pump. If you if you check mark this, it's basically going to sort of avoid tokens that are, you know, with custom CAs or bundled. Usually when a token is bundled, bundled created, bundled snipe, the CA also is kind of weird. It doesn't have the pump in the end. If it's a normal token, it has the pump in the end. And you can select that if you want to just avoid those weird tokens. I wouldn't select that usually. You can add specific keywords. I wouldn't do that unless I'm looking for something specific. And here I would probably select minimum market cap something around $10,000. You would go on the dollar metrics here, select minimum market cap $10,000, just to avoid the spam of all these new pairs. Although if you're if you're skilled enough, you can trade new pairs without even any filters. That gives you a slight edge over the guys that use filters because you see the token earlier. It makes sense. So put $10,000 market cap minimum. And on audit, you can put a maximum, you can, let's say, put a maximum bundle percentage to something 10, 20%. Let's say we put it, let's just try, for example, putting the filter right here for 10K and that's it. So you're going to see a lot of tokens that are super, super trash because they're like bundled up like this. This is at, this is like Scooby-Doo. For some reason, it's showing that it's at 1.3 million. Oh, it's on radium. So this thing shows new pairs also on radium. We should probably unselect it. That's pretty weird to show new pairs on radium unless you want to. So we're going to unselect that. And so here you're going to see a bunch of tokens above 10k that are just giga bundled that you could probably easily avoid like this. If you just put a filter, like you don't even have to look at it, you just avoid it instantly by putting a filter, right? Reversal, this is also bundled. Although you couldn't, you, you couldn't really even see that it's that bundled, but it is. And it also shows you the bubble maps as you hear, which usually I wouldn't even look at, but it's still pretty useful to have. So let's just put a maximum bundle percent here of let's say 25% to avoid those obvious scams. And you can do the same on final stretch, by the way, you should definitely just play around with these. Um, the main point is put a 10k market cap minimum filter just to avoid the spam. So you can just kind of look at these coins and try to find that runner like this. So right here, this coin is completely dead. I'm just going to buy five Solana worth so I can unlock the Twitter tracker, which all of you guys, I talked about the tw Twitter tracker in my previous video where I told you guys how people are basically making money off Twitter tracking, which is still very valid. It's just that the market is a bit shit right now. So you just have to wait a little bit, get acquainted with these platforms, get acquainted with these tools for when the next leg sort of for the market comes, you have to be ready to extract money from the market. Because honestly, I believe this year is 
probably the last coins and then it's just going to be to the downside for a while right bull run is ending pretty soon in my opinion guys like this year probably the probably the last year for the bull run so let me just quickly buy this token to show you how to buy a token it's dead so i'm not going to get rugged on this for sure i'm going to trade with five solana real quick so i can unlock the twitter tracker and I'll also i'm going to show you how to set the you know presets for your fees and mev protection and whatnot what you're going to do, you're going to click on preset one, you can set your slippage. So something I learned, if you set your slippage to like 100%, and even if you have map protection on, you can still get mapped. So don't do that. Set the slippage to something about 30 to 50% probably. And so priority fee, you can leave it at 0 0.005. Usually, you don't need to set the priority too high. It doesn't need to be high. What you need to set higher is the bribe fee. That's like the tip. I believe that's the tip. So on Nova, the other trading platform that I've been using, it's usually like this, right? You can set the priority fee and then you can set the tip. So I believe they've just named it a bit different. It's just named the bribe. So the bribe is usually what's needed to be set higher. And you can see here recommended bribe at the moment is 0 0.005 because the market is a bit dead. So we can easily go with 0 0.01. Just make it a bit higher than the recommended one. That's going to get your transaction super fast. Although if you don't want to spend money on the bribe, you can still set it to 0 0.005 or even lower. It doesn't even matter. Sometimes you don't even need to set it that high. Your transaction is going to be a little bit slower, but let me show you how fast the transactions can be if I set it to the recommended bribe and make it a little bit more than that. Let's set the MEF protection on as well. And here you can see they've red marked my priority fee. They say priority fee does not improve transaction transaction speed when MEV protection is enabled. So you can leave it at 0 0.005. That's going to be good enough. Protection is on, bribe is on, and you should be ready to rumble. Although somebody already bought this coin, so I don't want to get rugged by them real quick. I'm just going to select another coin. Probably something that's super dead that I don't have to worry about getting rugged. Muck higher like this. Holders, no one's holding pretty much anything worthy. Gonna buy five Solana. We're filled in. If we wanna sell, you just click on the sell button, select 100% higher, and boom, you sell. That's it. It's as simple as that. All right, so right here we've unlocked the Twitter alerts. So basically, how do you unlock them? You don't have to ha just have five Solana on your wallet. You actually have to sort of trade something about five Solana worth to unlock it. So I did like I did a one five Solana trade. It didn't unlock. I suppose it's because I probably traded with like 4.99 Solana. So I did one more trade and it instantly unlocked. So it's pretty cool. So what you can do, you can literally have it open like this. So let's say that you have you only have one monitor. You want to focus on big news and you don't want to snipe new pairs. So you just put it over the new pairs and you look at the final stretch here and you look at the migrated coins. That's just one example. Another option, you put it in the middle and you're trying to snipe the new pairs that have something related with these news, right? So what you're going to do, you're going to put the Twitter tracker right here. You know, the moment there's going to be a new tweet, you're going to see a bunch of new tokens come out and you can use it like that, right? The, the only issue I have with something like this is that you cannot add your own sort of Twitter tracker. So that's the thing that you like. Usually you usually like to have that you usually like to make your own list of accounts that you want to track. But this is a good starting point for anyone that cannot afford or doesn't know how to make a Twitter tracker yourself. And you just want to get on these narrative coins that pop up out of nowhere about news and stuff. This is something you can definitely use. This is like a free option that you can use. So I would probably either put it here in the middle. If I have one monitor, I would put it either here in the middle so I can snipe the new pairs that are relating with the news and just quick buy the first one that appears. You have to be careful though, because you can lose a lot of your money like that. If the market conditions aren't right. And if uh, you hop on the wrong one, as I showed in my previous video, uh, there's plenty of times where you can hop on the right one, it's going to hit radium, and you're going to make a bunch of money. It just has to be the right type of news and something big, insane type of tweet. Other option, once again, put it here on the new pairs, wait for the wait for something relating with this to pop up on the final stretch or in the migrated section. But that's already usually too late, especially with smaller time news. The only honestly, at the moment, the only like big time sort of pumps that happen are something related with Elon. 
So let's say Elon posts something, you know, posts a cat and he says, this is my new cat, you know, and he gives it a name. That coin would instantly go to millions. So I would say something like that would be something that you, you would be probably, it would be worth, you know, trying to get in on, on the right coin. You would also have to remember, once again, there would be probably about 10 to 20, maybe even 30 coins popping up on the new pair side. And you would basically have to get on the right one. And usually the right one is A, the one that isn't like completely bundled and the one that has the highest market cap or the oldest one, three options. So wallet tracker, you can import wallets right here, paste the JSON file, Bullex wallet imports are supported. So what you can do is you can just head over to Bullex Neo, import your wallet list, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. So right here, we've just imported all of these wallets from our Neo. And it also has these sort of icons. For example, I can see that assassin.eth just bought something. So live trades, you can go here and you can see what he bought. Assassin.eth, he bought this coin right here. You can just click on the token. It's going to literally take you there and it has the same exact features as, you know, it shows the same type of thing here that Neo does with these little icons. Isn't that crazy? These guys just developed all of the same features that everyone loves and added a few more and made it super fast. Like, let me, let me just do a quick trade on this and let me show you how quickly this happened. Attempting transaction. Boom. I am in one Solana in and I want to get out. Boom. I'm out. That's so that's how quickly this happens. And I don't have insane fees here. Okay, maybe I lost on this trade. But I just wanted to show you how this happens, right? How quickly you can trade with this platform. And I don't want to throw any shade over to Bullex or anything like that. But you know, their speeds haven't been the best recently. And their platform has been a bit buggy recently, laggy and such. So what I did, I decided, okay, so if we're going to talk about speed here, something that's super important is how quickly do the new pairs appear? So if I'm trying to snipe something, I don't want to be sniping something with like a four second delay. Like I want to see the latest information. And let me show you guys. Let me show you how quick Axiom is. All right. So right here, I popped up uh, three screens of the new pair section. So on the very left side, you see Axiom. On the middle, you see Bullex Neo. And on the right side here, you can see Photons. None of these have any filters on. So they're showing like a raw live feed of the new pairs. And we can compare how quickly do they show up on each. So here we can see Findler appeared here. So they pretty much appear like pretty much at the same time on all of these. And that's what I want to see. Like I want to see on if I'm if I'm going to use like a new platform, I want to see the new pairs appear at least at the same time as the others or quicker. So that's what we have here. It's just as fast. You can see instantly popping up new uh, sort of new pairs just as quickly as the other ones. I wanted to get that out of the way in case you guys are worried about speed. As quickly as I could, this pretty much sums up the platform right here. It's not that crazy. You know, it's it's pretty much the same as Bullix or Photon, except it has all these other features and it's super quick. I think you guys are going to love this one. So also make sure to remember, uh, don't just put all of your eggs in one basket. Don't just have all of your Solana on here. Make sure to just have the money that you're willing to actively trade on a trading bot. As you guys know, or maybe you don't even know, there was this bundling tool called Dog With Tools, which just completely exit scammed all of their user base, like literally a few weeks ago. So that's what can happen with any platform. And you think you're safe until you're not. So make sure to never, especially if it's a new platform, you don't know the team, whatever. As a matter of fact, any platform, even Bullex, even Photon, do not just like hold all of your money there. Wanted to just repeat that as I always do. It's super, just gotta be careful in this crypto world. Anyways, that's gonna be it for the video. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. You rock and I'm gonna see you in the next one.